spoof TV reporter who's fed up with Brexit along with every other ill of the world has become a viral hit on YouTube. It's Jonathan Pye, who's played by the actor and comedian Tom Walker. And he's reinvented political satire for the social media generation. He's engaging young people in politics and getting views in the hundreds of thousands of millions. Now touring the UK and America as a classic case of a reporter who pulls out his earpiece and gets angry with the story. And that was the... This is the world of Jonathan Pye, a fictional TV reporter with an axe to grind when he thinks the viewer's not watching. His Facebook videos are an insider's view of TV news, telling his producer what's wrong with the world and we're all in on the act. According to YouGov, I think it's 14% of the population think Brexit negotiations are going well. I suppose they are, if you're Michael Barnier. From Barnier to Trump on illegal immigration. How can some ex-stripper's jacket cause as much outrage as locking scared vulnerable kids up in cages? A policy which Trump presumably thought would go down well, but it turns out that even most Trump supporters draw the line at incarcerating toddlers. The media isn't left out. He rants at Rupert Murdoch. Look at Fox News in the US, okay? He's turned supposed journalism into a potent and nakedly partisan form of political propaganda. And he attacks the left's reaction to the right. If you don't listen to Bannon, he doesn't just go away. No single bad idea in history was ever defeated by simply not listening to it. His frustration has helped make him go viral. You push people to the far right by telling them they're already there. Bring it on. I'll interview the Thanks, Maggie. Well, this summer was literally a scorcher. Tom Walker, also known as uh, Jonathan Pye, joins me. Good to see you, oh, sir. Thanks for having me here. How do you decide what you're going to attack well quite quite often it's a difficult one because obviously the news is moving all the time so there's there's kind of new stuff but i like to think once a month you can pick brexit i try not to do trump too much because there's so much so sometimes i have to leave him alone and sometimes it can be something simple like for example this week it was about amazon and they and they're, them not paying tax or you can have more broader issues like uh freedom of speech being under scrutiny in our country and across the why did you choose because I, I understand how it started but why why did you choose the idea of a television reporter pulling his earpiece out and then ranting at a, a mythical producer, Tim, or in my case tonight, Tom? Well, quite simply, it, it was uh, from an acting exercise. I wanted to create my own work. And actually, if you stick a camera here and you've got Big Ben in the background and I'm here in a suit, you've told a lot of the story uh, already. And so I don't have to make a huge film about it. So it was to do with ease, really. And very, very quickly, I realised it was the politics that people were, were tuning in for as long as, uh, as well as the colour language uh, the colorful language we I mean we've had to bleep out quite a lot of it. I'm sure yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> which it seems to go along with the territory <laughs> yeah a little bit yeah. is anything off limits um, I don't think so I'm, I mean, I'm certainly never here to offend and I certainly don't court controversy but I think well except but, when you work for Russia today but well well, well, that, well I mean yeah you could say that but, but that was the, a the, mistake. the, the, the carry, no I don't I'm not sure it was a mistake it they, they paid me a little bit of money to to um, for my work which was fine but um uh, do you find it do you find it's very difficult to interview you because i've watched your work in fact let's have a watch and see what you said we've talked tonight about brexit let's have a listen to what jonathan pye said about brexit who thinks brexit is going well who stockpiling food and medicine yeah let, let's take back control guys adequate food for all this must be the brexit dividend we've all heard so much about soon that eu butter mountain we used to hear so much about in the 90s it'll look like pretty rich pickings you're a modern-day version of I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. Uh, uh, it, yes, Howard Network. Beale. Network, yeah, Network yeah. yes. Yeah, he's certainly, that's certainly an influence. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you know, yeah Is yeah, that what yeah. you would say you are? You are a talisman for the, ang for the angry man on the clap so, so, Someone described me as Howard Beale for the YouTube generation, and, and I'll, I'll take that. I'll are take you that. surprised at the number of hits that you're getting from a generation that we're told, are, uh, the snowflake generation, the apathetic generation, those who are not particularly interested? Yeah, but it's fascinating times. Maybe 10 years ago it wouldn't 
to work. Brexit, people want answers. Um, it was a surprising result. For, no, no matter which way you voted, it was surprising. Trump, people want answers. People can't understand why people voted for him. Other people can't understand why you would hate him. Um, and and Pi kind of cuts through that. Right, I, but Pi cuts through that with a point of view. Are they always your points of view? Um, as a, 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 as a, you know, it, it, to the, does Tom Walker and Jonathan Pye agree? Is he basically your voice piece? Bro broadly, we're broadly we're left. Broadly, we think there's a, pro I think there's a problem with with the left shutting out debate. So, I, so I'm with him on that. I'm not a fan of the Tories. I think Trump, Trump's uh, presidency is extraordinary to, to to comment on whether you're a satirist or or a journalist or or a member of the public. So, so um, it, it's but fascinating. Times, but. but you are reinventing political satire. I, I wouldn't say I would. I think people think, I, like the older generation, go, oh, a man shouting at the Tories. Um, I remember that. Um, and the younger generation think it's brand new. But right. I, I wouldn't we, say we've just got a sh 20, 20 seconds or so to the break. There's the camera. Take, take a look down uh, that one. Um, and take us to break in Jonathan Pye fashion to my producer, Tom. Well, uh, thank you, Tom. We'll have a profitable moment after the break. Right, where's the pub? <laughs> <laughs> Indeed we will. Good to see you, sir.